Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion on this morning. Hey, happy new week to everyone. Hey, we believe God has great things in store for you and your household. Hey, we speak good news to your house on this week. Great testimonies, great victories on this week. Amen? Amen. Bless God. So on this morning, I want to read and we'll be coming from John 10 and verse 10. It says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I came that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Amplify says, The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows, my Lord. Message translation says, A thief is only there to steal and to kill and destroy. I came so they can have real and eternal life more and better life than they have ever dreamed of. Yes, God. New Living Translation says that this purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. All right. So in this week for Everyday Communion, you know, we're going to be discussing life. You hear life. Okay. You know, lately uh, we've been hearing a lot about death and people wanting to, uh, people not wanting to live and, and and contemplating suicide. All right. First, let's establish this. That's that's of the devil. All right. We clearly see here. Jesus said that thief comes to what steal, to kill, and to destroy. So any thoughts of suicide, any thoughts of not wanting to live, that's all Satan. My God, that's all from the devil. Okay. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that it might have life and that they may have it in, uh, more abundantly. He said, I came that they may have and enjoy life. He wants us to what? Have and enjoy life. This thing called life is supposed to be enjoyable. Good God. Enjoy your life. He says what? And have it in abundance to the full, to the overflows. He said, I came so they can have real and eternal life, more and better life than they ever dreamed of. He says, my purpose is, is to give them a rich and satisfying life. All right. So I encourage you on this morning that it's time to cast down those thoughts of death. My God. Those thoughts of I'm not good enough, the thoughts that I don't have no purpose, I don't want to live anymore, that everyone would be happy if I'm gone, all that mess, man, shut that mess down, cast that mess down. Those thoughts are from the devil, my God, you have a purpose, God has a plan for your life, and he wants you to live an abundant life. He wants you to live the life that he has planned for you, and it's better than anything you can ever dream of. He said he wants you to have a real life, a satisfying, rich life. My God, enjoy life. What is this? You don't want to live. What is these thoughts that's coming? Cast that mess down. No, that's not, that's not, that's not from love himself. That's not from God. Cast those thoughts down. All right, again, it's time to cast down those thoughts of death. And begin to live, my enjoy life in a, the abundance of life Christ has provided for you. Amen. Amen. So that's what we're going to be discussing on this week. Live. Live. Enjoy life, man. Enjoy life. Don't receive any thoughts of hurting yourself. Don't receive any thoughts of, of, of the world would be better if I wasn't here or that. No, man, that's not God, man. That's not love. Love says, I want you to live, and I want you to live a good life. Amen? Amen. Bless God. So let's go ahead and take communion on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. And we bind that spirit of suicide right now. We curse it right now. In the name of Jesus, we speak life on the inside of you. Love and peace. Amen? Oh, we bless you, Father. We thank you, Father, for this. Another opportunity you've given unto us. 
to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. And for that, we say thank you. We take the bread right now which represents your body, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, everything you're doing, everything you've done was for us. You was made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace, our complete wholeness, spirit, soul, and body was upon you with and by your stripes. We were healed, therefore we are healed, and we're healed right now from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We do this in remembrance of you, Lord Jesus. We say thank you. We discern your body right now. We take the bread. We eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love. All of our sins are forgiven, never to remember again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. And Father, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your blood. We take the cup. We drink all of it. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. So again, I encourage you on this morning, cast down those thoughts of death. Cast down those thoughts of suicide. Cast down those thoughts of I don't want to live. And begin to live in the abundance of life Christ Jesus has provided for each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. So let's go ahead and get our favor confession on this morning. The favor of God is in me, on me, and goes before me. The favor of God surrounds me everywhere I go and in everything I do. I expect the favor of God to be in full manifestation in my life on today. The favor of God produces for me supernatural increase, promotions, restoration, honor, Increased assets, greater victories, recognition, preferential treatment, petitions granted, policies changed, and battles won, in which I don't have to fight. This is God's set time to favor me, and this is God's set time to favor you. Amen? Amen. Father, we love you. We bless you. Father, we thank you for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us, Father. I shout grace, grace to everyone that's watching, to every household. I thank you. Every need of every household is met in full with abundance of more than enough, Father. I speak peace to every household right now in Jesus' name. And for all those who need healing, who need help, and need strength in their bodies, Father, I thank you that you have healed them all. And we love you, Father. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. Thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. We pray each and every one of you have a great day on today full of God's favor and blessing. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Live.